Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. No bumper on this. We're going to get straight into it. This is my 133 favorite artists. So why 133? That's just where it landed. Those are the groups and artists that really mean something to me, and it just kind of stopped there. So it's a random number, but uh, the criteria is below. You can check it out. It's basically 80-minute playlists. I made 80-minute playlists for all these artists, and then I ranked them, which, by the way, the playlist for this group or artist is below, and you can go to Spotify, and you can play my 80-minute playlist. And I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you like this band. Yep, that's right. It's a band. It's not an artist. Uh, the other thing is, have I seen the band live? And second, and thirdly, yeah, thirdly, I can't count. Um, thirdly, do I read articles about them? Am I interested in them? Have I bought maybe some books or lyric books and things like that? So let's get right into it. This is another Manchester band. And I said I only have... I think I only have three Manchester bands in here. So the first one we did was Elbow. And here's another group. And they recorded for about 40 years until the lead singer died. And he was the only original member of the band. Uh, they went through uh, a historic number of lineup changes. Oh, crazy. Uh, probably had 100 people in the band. and. Only the singer and songwriter was the original member. Yeah, who am I talking about? I'm talking about The Fall. And the lead singer is Marky e. Smith, who died in 2018. Yeah, 31 studio albums, plus a bunch of live albums and compilations. Very prolific band. Like these guys uh, a lot. Yeah, they're very different. Post-punk is the main genre. And I have not seen them live. Some of my favorite songs of theirs are uh, Totally Wired, Cruiser's Creek, How I Wrote Elastic Man, 50-Year-Old Man, yeah, Pro Art Threat. Is that what it's called? Let me uh, just check my notes here. Um, Pro Art Threat, yeah, I like Roush Rumble. Really good song, so check out the playlist. And I do have some of their CDs. Both of them are anthologies. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what those are. So I have this uh, CD called um, Palace of Swords Reversed. And it's a double CD. And it's from 1980 to 83. So it's all their uh, early material. The second disc is a live disc, so it's kind of interesting. It's a best of, and then you have a live CD recorded uh, on the wall, 1982. So that's great. And Totally Wired's on here, Pearl Art Threat. Yeah, some of those songs. And then I have uh, some redundancy. I have Smile, It's the Best of the Fall. See if you can see that there. Yeah, and I keep all these in pro sleeves. And that's all I've got. Uh, but that's but what I recommend is 50,000 fans can't be wrong. Uh, I think that's the best anthology. So when I want to listen to that, I, I stream that. But this is the physical I have. And they're just great. 50-year-old man is 11 minutes long. It's weird as hell. It has a, a banjo break in it. Yeah, they're just they're just totally off the wall. Yeah, I love Marky e. Smith. So that's it. We'll keep it short. So we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.